Hey guys. Uh, so today I want to talk about the uh, uh, reduction from uh, three set to set. Uh, I think this this is very interesting. So there are many MP companies. Uh, uh, there are many MP company question that they can they can be proved by uh, uh doing a reduction from one to one. And I want to make my uh like own uh, video that uh, uh, basically try to describe the detail. Okay, so uh today I want to talk about uh. Uh, how to start from uh, so I want to talk about how to start from set and uh, go to three set. Well, basically, I want to prove that three set is MP complete uh, by assuming that is MP complete. Okay, so let me just uh, still describing some basic uh, definition. So the set, or basically called the set, is the uh, it's called a satisfiability problem. The idea is very simple. Uh, you get some you get some uh, boolean variable. So let's consider you get some boolean variable, which is x one, x two, up to x n. Okay, and uh, you can define a, a thing called a literal. So literal is just x i or not x i, or basically x i bar. And uh, this is definition or the clause. So clause is a disjunction of the literal. So disjunction of literal. And also a thing called a formula. And the formula in the con CNF, this is called a conjunction normal form. So conjunction normal form. Uh, basically, the formula looks like uh, so conjunction normal form, right? so it looks like this. Maybe it's x one uh, or x two or not uh, like x four bar, and then maybe end uh, x two or x three bar. Let's say x five. Okay, so this is like a CNF formula. So conjunction normal form means that uh, you are you can write each clause, right? You got each diff different clause, and uh, there uh, in everything in the middle is or. So this is or. But the connection connected each clause is a is a end, right? So basically, you 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 can write look like this, and then for each small is or or or, this is called a conjunction normal form. Okay, uh, I usually find I uh, feel very happy to make a video. I mean, I don't know why. Okay, okay, so. Oh, uh, this is the uh actually this is called normal form. And usually uh the conjunction normal form means that uh, each each uh, each clause has exactly three uh variables. So if if each is has exactly three variables, this is called a three set. Okay. Oh sorry, sorry, uh three literals. Three literals. Should call it uh this is called three set. Okay. So for example, uh, this is reset. Let's say x4 uh, and uh, oh, x5 and x6, right? This is a three set, but uh, let's say this is not three set. Okay, this is not three set. Okay, so the problem is called, uh, the task is called set is uh, SAT. Basically, uh, so there is a SAT in three SAT. So SAT is that somebody just give you the formula. Someone could give you the, the formula. Okay, so usually conjunction normal form. And uh, sometimes some people call it three, uh, three conjunction normal form. So if you only, if you don't require that each literal contains only three variable, then at least conjunction normal form. Uh, so this step problem is that the uh, hope to find so hope to find a uh, so hope to find satisfy assignment. So basically hope to find x one up to x n. Either this is one or zero. Either this one or zero, such that the formula is true. So let's call it formula phi psi, uh, phi. So we get phi x one up x n, which is one. Okay, and this uh, the three set is the same, right? So such that uh, phi of x one up to x n is one. Okay, so this is called a satisfiable problem, and uh, the famous theorem is a uh, cook levin so maybe I prove in a future video is that uh, uh, I think it's 
uh, something like this. And the proof that the so set is MP complete. Okay. Okay, so our goal is to, uh, our goal is to, to prove the following that uh, the three, uh, well, actually three sets also MP complete. Okay, so I, we want to do the reduction. So we want to do a reduction from uh, three set. Uh, we, we want to do the reduction right from uh, three set to set. Okay, so first, uh, first obviously, obvious, obviously, uh, obviously is what? Obviously is, is that the uh, uh, three set can be polynomial time reduction uh, to set. And this is a uh, trivial, it's a trivial. And because the reason is that if one can solve set in the polynomial time or, or whatever oracle you can solve set, then you can solve three set. And uh, they are polynomial time related, right? Because three set is a special case okay, of set. Okay, so uh, the non-trivial part is this. And non-trivial is uh, proving set. Actually, you can polynomial time to three set. Okay, so uh, I should say, I, I, I should say we need to prove both. Okay, but this is already proved. Okay, so now we just do this. Okay, so this is uh, the problem uh, is not, not so simple, right? Because our goal is to somebody give you a three uh, set formula. And uh, if, if, if phi is a set is viable, basically you need to do a reduction, right? So we need to compute, you need to determine some uh, fine prime here in a three set, such that if phi is a set is viable, and the phi prime is satisfiable. And also if phi is not satisfiable, that means there you don't have any solution, then you want to prove that this phi prime is also not satisfied. Okay. Okay, so the idea is this, right? The idea is that uh, if somebody gives me uh, like the set formula, and then uh, now I have each different clause, right? So I need to claim that I, I need to, uh, if, if that clause already has three uh, three leader rows, then I don't have to do anything. But if that clause has uh, one in leader rows or two leader rows or more than three leader rows, then I need to do something. Okay, so the idea is that uh, I need to uh, I need to deal with I need to deal with the clause has uh, I should say has uh, zero uh, one leader row or two leader rows or uh, greater than three leader rows. Okay, then let's do a very simple mathematics. So this is why I think this uh, video, uh, this uh, proof is uh, interesting, right? So let's say, let's say somebody give you my, uh, let's say the first one, I only got literal L. So let's say my cloud is just L. Okay, so I need to come determine the C prime, which is, which, is a th which is a three set, right? So I need to add something new. Okay, so my, my way is to, I can add, let's say, I can write as a, I can write this C, uh, it's, uh, it's called L, right? It's called L, and uh, with uh, uh, and the U and V, uh, sorry, or U and V, and the uh, L or U bar V, and the L, L, U, V bar, and the L, U bar, V bar. Okay. Okay, so uh, I want to claim, so now this is a three set formula, and I want to claim that uh, if C is true. Uh, so uh, so I should say this. I I I want to claim that if claim if C is a satisfiable, then the uh, C prime is satisfiable. And also if C is not satisfiable, also C prime is not satisfiable. Okay, so let me just quickly uh, do a proof. I think this proof is very uh, it's not difficult. I mean, you 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 can just do the combinatorics. I right? just check one by one. So let's say if C is satisfiable, right? If C is satisfiable, that L must be one. Okay. So in this case, L must be one. But in okay, so let's say in in, in if L is one, right? Then C prime will be what? Will be will be one. Right? Will be one, right? And at least this guy, and also be uh L since L is one, right? So C prime will be one, 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 right? Because one, 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 one. 
right? So it's n and one, right? So okay, so if c is not satisfiable, then l must be zero, right? So you get zero, 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 right? So in this case, your c prime will be u or v and u bar and v and u or v bar and u bar v bar. Okay, so and obviously that these four are contradic uh, contradictory, right? So however u v you choose, there is always one of them cannot be satisfied, right? Because you already taken all the four choices. Okay, so c prime is not satisfiable. Actually, you can just write c prime equals to zero, right? For however u and v. Okay, so uh, this is the first step that uh, we deal with the uh, single uh, literal. So we don't need to worry about it. We can change the single literal into the three set for me. Okay, so now let's, let's do the two literal case, two literals case. Okay, so uh, this is so interesting. Let's say I write C L and C equals to L and uh, N as L or L2. Okay, L1 or L2. Then I can define C prime such that uh, this is all L1, L2, U and L1 or L2 or U bar. Okay. Okay, so let's do some uh, sanity check. So let's say C is true. Okay, so let's suppose C is true. Okay. Uh, so uh, if C is true, then I have four case, right? I know what I have one zero zero one zero one. Okay. So let's say if if L L L one and both L L right. So if L one L two both one, then it's already one, right? So if C C is true, then this guy will be one. So this guy will be one. This guy will be one, right? So you you already get one and one, then end, right? So C prime will be one. Okay. If C is if if C is false, let's say C is not true. So C is zero. That means that L1 must be zero and L2 must be zero. If you put in this, you get C prime equals to zero and the U, which is U or and U complement. So this is not satisfiable for, for however U. Okay, so uh, also conversely, you can prove. Yeah, I mean, yeah, so this is true. Okay. So we solve two literal case. Now we deal with the uh, greater than three literal case. Okay, so which is this is called breaking the clouds. Okay, so breaking clause. Okay, so I need to let's say if somebody give you let's say x one uh, uh uh or x two or x three or x four right you need to break break into the three set. Okay, so let's do this this simple example right. So I I can do x one and uh sorry or x two or x three uh, or z and uh I do the x. Let's separate to this, right? I can separate this list four. Uh, oh, sorry, let's, let's maybe do this. So let's separate this into this. And I get X1 and, or, or X2 or Z and X3 or X4 and sorry, or not Z, okay? Okay, so you can check that uh, you can do the, you can do a simple check to prove that uh, this is this is this is work right so basically you can check that if this if this guy is true if all these guys is true uh either so one of x must be uh, one of x x x1 uh, to x4 must be one right so either one of these must be one okay so that means either one of these must be one right so maybe this is one okay then this is already one then the, you can choose one of Z such that uh, make this to be true. Okay. Uh, maybe let's do some, you know, for example, X1 is one, X2 is zero, X3 is zero, X4 is zero. And let's, let's check this. So you get the uh, one and uh, this is Z bar, right? So because this is already one, right? So you can choose that Z to be, let's say to be zero. Okay. Uh, if, if, if you are not satisfiable, then everything will be zero. Then you get Z at the Z complement, which is also zero, okay? So more generally, if 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 you get clouds let's say x uh, or y, then you can write it as x uh, or z, and uh, y or uh, and uh, y or, uh, or 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 z complement. Okay, and then you can simply check that somebody give you clouds, then you can prove this is true, and then you just break up, you just break down. Okay, so this give you uh so this will give you the so all this will give you the set can be polynomial time reduction to three sets. 
Okay, the reason is that you at most have the polynomial time. You at most have poly n clouds, right? So you at most have poly n clouds. Okay, is it true? Uh, uh, I think so. I think so. Yeah, I think you at most have poly n clouds. If you have n variable, then you have more. You at most have. Why this is true? I mean, you have, you at most have like poly n clouds. Hopefully. Okay. So, uh, yeah, I think this is true. So basically, uh, this is a reduction step. Okay. So reduction step, somebody, uh, give you a three set a set formula. If there are not not if not if each of them do not uh uh looks like a, do not have the three literals, then you just use this formula to first, uh, did you deal with one literal and then change it to four of them? Maybe it's not not good. and two literal go something, three literal go something. Okay, so this is the proof such that uh, uh yeah that proof that there is the 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 three sets and become complete. Okay, and the next time uh, I'm going to talk about very interesting results that actually one can prove that the uh, uh, two set is in P. Okay, so actually it's a linear time. Okay, so this is a very non-trivial that uh, actually uh, two sets is actually in the polynomial time. Okay, so see you guys in the next video.